Coming up, some could be less than 24 hours away from snow and dangerous cold. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Kentucky is under a state of emergency ahead of the dangerous winter weather headed to the Commonwealth. We're going to see some snow and below zero wind chills. Now's the time for you to prepare if you haven't already. It starts moving in tomorrow night. Meteorologist Cameron Aaron begins our first alert weather day coverage. Cameron. Yes, Steve, that's right. Models actually a little bit quicker tonight than they were a few hours ago, so we may have to adjust those timings a little bit, but still, we are still sticking to our forecast. Rain starts later tonight. It will linger into your Thursday, and then we're tracking some snow by Thursday night into Friday. Let's go over to I-64 at Moorhead, looking at quiet weather at this location. Current temperature, 41 degrees under a cloudy sky, but a few people already dealing with a few showers tonight. Temperatures up upper 30s to middle 40s, 46 for Somerset, 37 for Hazard, 41 for Jackson, sitting at 35 right now over in Clintwood and up on radar. Like I said, a few showers this evening and into tonight, mainly along the Hal Rogers Parkway from London, stretching over to near Manchester. Also looking at a few sprinkles over portions of Owsley and Jackson County as well. But the big story still off towards the north and west. All that snow over portions of the Great Plains, that system moving into our direction. That is why a first alert weather day continues tonight and that will continue right on through your Christmas weekend as dangerous cold continues as well. That full first alert forecast coming up in just a little bit. Steve. All right. Thank you very much, Cameron. Well, Christmas travel may be dangerous this time tomorrow night, but the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet has been hard at work prepping for the winter weather. WYMT's Jordan Mullins has more on how they are staying ready for whatever winter may bring. With frigid temps in the forecast, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is staying alert on road conditions throughout the state. Anything that has gotten wet, uh, you know, anything on the roads that's left over rain, anything like that will freeze rather quickly. And we're looking at something that can freeze within 90 minutes. In District 12, crews have been prepping a bit extra throughout the week been prepping for, for quite some time, but then once an event like this comes up and we get close to it, we kind of spring into extra prep mode and we go, we, we go a little bit deeper with everything. Producing thousands of tons of de-icing agents and making sure roads are plow ready. We always look for any obstacles that might be, you know, in the way bef before the event comes, make sure that we're ready to go and that the roads are, are going to be okay to plow. Keeping an eye on the ever-changing weather conditions things can change on a dime. These mountains and valleys and things, a little bit of a sway a change uh, can really you know, change the weather forecast up. So we're really going to continue to monitor the whole situation to help keep you safe and to keep our guys safe as well. To ensure folks have a safe Christmas. In Pike County, Jordan Mullins, WIMT Mountain News. Officials say if you see a snowplow or a salt truck, keep at least two car links behind the truck. Never pass a plow and make sure to wash the salt off your car after the severe weather has passed. The incoming frigid temperatures have many people worried about staying warm, but for some it could be even more dangerous. Floyd County's homeless shelter is asking folks who are unhoused to make their way to the House of Hope. The center welcomes folks out of the frosty temperatures, but board members say it can sometimes take work to get them into the warmth. So we really need anybody that think that they may need assistance to come now. If you or someone you know is in need of shelter, you can contact the House of Hope at 606-949-2018. Broken water lines and outages are always a concern when it gets this cold and the city of Hazard is preparing. City manager Tony Eversoll says the Hazard water plant has put more water in the storage tanks in preparation and crews have been out checking water lines. We've been checking them, we've been covering them, our crews are out covering some more today. Uh, we just ask that the people do not leave the water running and just check your own, do your own police work. Everso says the water plant staff is prepared for calls and will be ready to respond in a timely manner. 
You can stay weather aware with the WIMT First Alert weather app. You can scan a QR code right there to download or search for it in your app store. It gives you the latest weather alerts and radar. It will come in really handy the next few uh, days. It works with cellular data if you lose power, which is also a concern during events like this. And it also works off Wi-Fi. For the latest list of warming shelters, go to WIMT.com and there are a bunch of them. The ARH Foundation continues to help Eastern Kentucky flood victims. Thanks to donations from across the nation, 59 families still living at Jenny Wiley State Park are getting checks for five thousand dollars. The money can be used for whatever the family needs from building supplies to Christmas presents. The ARH Foundation has now distributed more than one million dollars in relief funds to families and more than three million pounds of supplies. When July's floods swept through the Buckhorn community of Perry County, Buckhorn Volunteer Fire Department Chief Robert Amos did not have operable equipment to help rescue folks. But thanks to the generosity of countless people in Lincoln County, he does now. Lincoln County Sheriff's Office Sergeant and Volunteer Firefighter Michael Mullins delivered a fully functional rescue truck to the department today. Different parts of the truck were funded by various people in Lincoln County, hoping to help this department serve its community more efficiently. I've had several community members come up and thank us and because and we're here now. Um, they know if they call, that we're going to be there. They see, they see other departments helping us. They see us getting more stuff in to better help them, and it's it's very exciting at this point. Amos adds his crew is excited for this donation, and because of all the people investing in his department, he says it drives them to be better servants of the Buckhorn community. Also in Buckhorn today, dozens of kids went home with warm clothes and toys thanks to a Lexington-based organization. Direct to Kids is a group dedicated to providing children across the state with essential clothing items like warm coats, hats, and gloves, along with toys to make their Christmas a little brighter. And today, the organization partnered with the Buckhorn School to give these things to kids in the area who might need them. I mean, this is just year number six, and... Every year, it seems like we grow by 50 or 75 kids, and uh, I, I see no end in sight. I told my kids when this started year one, if uh, I'm, I'm not going to be happy or this isn't going to be over until every kid has something. Those with organizations say they're looking for more areas to help this holiday season and beyond. If you know of an area with children in need, we have contact information for the organization on our website at WIMT.com. State Treasurer Allison Ball wants a new title, State Auditor. The Eastern Kentucky native was first elected treasurer in 2015 and re-elected in 2019. She filed the paperwork to run for auditor today with her family and Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton by her side. Ball says as treasurer, she's returned more unclaimed property than any other treasurer in history. Ball, who's a Republican, is the only person to file for auditor so far. The current state auditor, Mike Harmon, is running for governor. Coming up on Mountain News at 11, Governor Bashir says it's been a trying but successful year for the state of Kentucky. He and the First Lady look back on 2022. And we are tracking rain and snow chances with our next weather system. All those details coming up.